From a biological point of view, every living organism has only two goals, to survive and to reproduce. When an organism managed to survive and reach maturity, then it will be ready for reproduction. There are many types of reproduction, and the most common among multicellular organisms is sexual reproduction, the production of new living organism by combining genetic information from two individuals of different sexes. In order for sexual reproduction to occur, there must be an egg and a sperm. You may think that sperm is bigger in bigger animals and smaller in smaller animals, just like the penis is bigger in bigger animals and smaller in smaller animals. But this is not always the case. In fact, the sperm of a mouse is bigger than the sperm of the elephant. The average sperm length of mice is about 124 micrometers, while the average sperm length of elephants is only about 56 micrometers. The sperm's size is dictated by at least two factors. First is the number of the mating partners of the female, and second is the length and size of the female reproductive tract. Mice produce bigger sperms because most species of mice have a lot more mating partners than elephants. If a female mates with several males, their sperm competes with one another. Longer sperms are considered as the competitive ones because they have longer flagella, which make them swim faster as they approach the egg. Longer sperm cells also have longer meat bees, which indicates that they house more mitochondria and therefore have more energy and motility than the shorter ones. Another factor that influences the sperm's length is the morphology of the female's reproductive tract that includes both the wideness and the length. In large animals like elephants, the reproductive tract is much longer and wider as compared to the smaller animals, and so sperm can easily be lost or diluted in it. Therefore, to increase chances of fertilizing eggs, large male animals tend to produce more but shorter sperms than to produce longer but less sperms. Indeed, big things have small beginnings.